Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those who are new to this channel, hi, this is Dr. Madhu Mishra. I am a theoretical physicist. Currently, I work as a postdoc at Asia Pacific Center for Theoretical Physics in Pohang, South Korea. And this is episode 2 of IAT series. Here, we discuss how you can thrive in ICER. So our focus is not just clearing the IIT entrance exam, but it goes beyond that after you are entered in ICER, how you can succeed. So we will focus on strengthening your concept. As I promised in the last episode, today I am going to give you some book recommendation. And as I said in the last video, I am not going to list down five books per subject. I am just going to give you two at max two books per subject so we are dealing here with four subjects maths physics chemistry and biology starting with biology as much as i have gone through the previous year question paper and all the videos uh, i have seen and all the people i have talked to the previous bsms students and the current bsms student the common and collective recommendation is NCRT book. So I have been told that you do not have to study anything but NCRT for IAT entrance exam and to make your biology concept in strong. But if you want to understand something, you can go and watch some YouTube videos. There are many channels and you will know better than me. Uh, I haven't seen any biology videos, so I'm not the best person to recommend any biology video. But I will be recommending some chemistry and physics video. So for biology, just NCRT, that is more than enough. Now when it comes to chemistry, two recommendations are first is NCRT and second is Pradeep's fundamental. So mostly focus on NCRT for organic and inorganic. But for physical chemistry, when you have to solve a lot of numericals, go and check out Pradeep's fundamental books for chemistry. And then you can practice some of the numericals there. And also the Pradeep's fundamental, it looks very big, but it is so comprehensive, so approachable. Everything is explained in details. And I am saying this from my own experience. I have read that Pradeep's chemistry book in and out during 11th and 12th and I scored quite a good mark without any teacher as I said in my previous video uh, I did not have any teacher in my 11th and 12th for physics and chemistry so I had to teach myself and this book NCRT and Pradeep's fundamental are the key and even for the IIT entrance exam this is the maximum you have to read after also this is the maximum you need to learn so Pradeep's fundamental and NCRT. Now physics, again, I don't think NCRT is the best book for physics. For physics, SC Verma and Pradeep's fundamental. Now when it comes to SC Verma, I have my reservations because without teacher, I was not able to understand SC Verma at that point of time. I, it was little hard for, it, it was little hard for me to comprehend uh, it's very concise so I was finding it difficult to understand uh, however when it comes to approach approachable uh, explanation I find Pradeep's fundamental for physics very approachable all the numericals there are also very well done there are J mains questions are also mentioned in the book so you can practice so for six month I will highly encourage you to read these two books. If you can understand S.C. Verma, then you go and read S.C. Verma. But if you find little, diff if you find it difficult to understand or comprehend S.C. Verma, then Pradeep's Fundamental for Physics is your book. Also, if you find it difficult to understand Pradeep's Fundamental of Physics, there are lectures from Pradeep Chetrapal in YouTube. Uh, the videos are two th of 2015, so very old videos, but he has explained each and every chapter so nicely that you don't need any teacher. So I followed those videos, but 
since the videos were posted in 2015 by that time i had already passed so these videos i watched for my jest exam also so uh, the videos are so good so if you do you find something difficult and you're not able to understand from the book itself go watch those videos and there are lot of materials available in the website from chhetrapal himself so you can download those uh, or i will upload it in some of the description sometime later this not today not in this video this is just the book recommendation video now when it comes to math just one recommendation and it is more than enough it is the book it's the book is rd sharma that's it you don't have to practice ncert because all the ncert questions are already there in the book you don't have to practice anything but nc uh, rd sharma practice rd sharma solve all the questions from rd sharma and i'm i'm telling you you will you will succeed in iit entrance exam and also you will be very very successful in icer maths exams so rd sharma okay uh, the one uh, tip that i will give you while you're studying rd sharma or while you're solving questions from rd sharma is that solve the questions and if you find it difficult then you take uh, look at the examples and try to solve the question okay the uh, the unsolved question you try to solve by looking at the example if you find it difficult and whichever question you found difficult to attempt or solve in one go write it down in a different notebook now by the end of 6 month when you have finished rd sharma you will have a stack of questions with you which you couldn't solve it in one go without any help now solve these questions and if you can't solve these questions again now you again you have to put it down in a different stack and those you solve it during your exams or before your just one month before your exams or maybe one week after this and this will and that is how you can like solve the rd sharma questions multiple time so that's how i used to do that's what i used to do even when i was 11th and 12th so i have solved rd sharma in and out multiple times uh, at that point of time i actually remembered which page number this question was i have studied rd sharma so <laughs> badly Uh, and i enjoyed so much i enjoy doing uh, solving maths so much uh, that i used to just sit around with the rd sharma and solving the example solving unsolved question difficult questions easy questions and yeah by the time i think when i when i'll go to school i will remember which page this uh, this question was in so yeah rd sharma so for math recommendation rd sharma now to repeat everything again for biology just ncert for chemistry pradeep's fundamental and ncert for physics hc verma and pradeep's fundamental for maths rd sharma these are my recommendation and you just read this book and let me know how did you find these recommendation and if you have any other recommendation please put it down in the comment section below for so other people also get to know but th these are the book that i swear by these are the holy grail for me so easy book all the concept you will get to clear your concept and yeah understand please put down questions that you are facing any problem that you are facing please write it down in the comment section and we will come with another video where we will discuss all the problems that we are facing in physics chemistry and maths biology i'm not so sure that i can help you in biology but i will ask some of my friends in biology to come and talk to you about that but we'll talk about it i'm not going to ignore biology because uh, in iit entrance exam you have to solve uh, biology questions you have to attempt biology question to get good rank uh, so that you get college of your choice so we are not going to ignore biology but uh, what i'm saying is that i can help you with three subjects but for bi biology uh, i need somebody's help so for that i will be calling some 
expert in biology uh, or maybe some former BSMS student who can help you uh, in preparing for biology. But maths, chemistry and physics, I'm here. I'm here for you. So yeah, see you in my next episode, episode number three. So in my next video, I am planning to talk about things that you should start preparing from now that uh, will be helpful during the exam or uh, around the time when exam is coming up. So for example, one of the tips uh, which I just said that start writing name reaction or uh, start preparing for name reaction in organic and in maths I told you to start writing questions that you found difficult uh, solving in a separate notebook. Tips like that we will talk about in next episode which I will cover all the other subject as well. So yeah, please subscribe to this channel and hit the like button if you found this video helpful. Uh, yeah, see you in my next video. Bye-bye.